The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but the deliverance of people. Amen. O oh Lord, deal not with us according to our sins. O oh God, merciful Father, you despise not the sign of the contrary heart, nor the desires of such as are soft. Mercifully assist our prayer which we make before thee in all our trouble and anguish. Whensoever they oppress us and graciously hear us, that those evil which the crap adds up the ability of the devil, of man, working against us, may by thy good prophet be brought to know that we, thy servants, being hurt by no prosecution, may evermore give thanks unto thee in thy holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh God, we have heard with our ears, and our Father has declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. From our enemy, defend us, O Christ. With pity, behold the sorrow of our heart. Favorable with mercy, hear our prayer. Both now and ever fall sick to hear us, O Christ. O Lord, let thy mercy be shown upon us. We only beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmity. And for the glory of thy name, turn from us all those evils that we will justly have deserved. And grant that in all our trouble we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy. And ever more serve thee in holiness and pureness of living. To the honor and glory. Through our only belief and advocate, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who have given us grace at this time and one accord to make our common supplication unto thee. And thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desired petition of thy servant, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Here begins the eighth chapter, the Gospel according to St. Matthew. The eighth chapter, Gospel according to St. Matthew. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude because they have not been with me three days and have nothing to eat. And if I set them away fasting in their own house, they will faint by the way. For the verse of them calls from fall. And his disciple answered him, From when can a man sacrifice these men with bread has in the wilderness? And he answered them, How many loaves? Have ye? And they say, Seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and bread and gave to his disciples to set before them. And they did set them before the people. And they had a few small fish. And he blessed them and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was 
left seven baskets, and they that had eaten were about four thousand. And he sent them away. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, I'm 
God will come to rescue you. But he never did 
give up the fear. He kept the fear, the, 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 uh, his belief in God. And he became ruler of Egypt by keeping the fear. Job is another one that, that we know about that talked about. Job, Job would have some faith and get faith. God allowed Satan to tempt him. And he lost everything. Everything he had, his children, his cattle, everything. And on top of that, people that he trusted, his friends, criticized him. So you know you've been doing something wrong, Job, is Job still keep the faith. He knew the faith and kept the faith. Same thing about us. We know the faith, we see what God has done in our life, we have remembered and hold out to the end. You know, there was a time, there was a time in my life, you know, bad thing happened to us, and we think because these things happening to us, God is not there, or God is not continuing to be working in our lives. There was a time in my life I thought that because I'm a Christian, I'm trying to please God, everything's supposed to go right. But that's not the way it is. I, I, I got to the point of, well, why are all these things happening? And I'm doing my best to try to please God. I said, what's the use? I was at the point about to give up the faith. But as I mentioned earlier, the Holy Spirit is there to keep us. And the Holy Spirit said to me, all things work together for good. And that's what he said. And right then I realized that all things that look bad is not bad. And that made me realize that all things work together for good. If you trust God, God will bring it up. You know, you don't take God knows exactly what we need to keep us. And that's all he needed to tell me. All things work together for good. And I understand everything that was going on. And I know that no matter how things look, God is still there and I still could trust God. If we take our attention off of God or Jesus, just like uh, Peter did, Peter had the faith. Uh, when Jesus told him he could come to him walking on the water, uh, Peter went, started going, and he took his eyes off Jesus, and he started saying, Amen. So we, we got to remember to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. It's not easy for us, uh, it's not hard for us to forget. When we have difficulties, sickness, or uh, problem come in our life, if we take our eyes off of God and look at the problem, if we try everything we can to get rid of the problem, instead of going to God and then trust Him and hold out to the end, you know, sometimes when we go through things and we trust God, the worst thing yet, the closer we are to victory. Amen. Because Satan will throw everything at us when we get closer before you can give up. So if we keep that faith and keep our eyes on, on Jesus, he, he'll keep us. We need to keep the faith that it pleases God. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. So we know when we want to please God, what we do? Have faith. Believe in Him. And it's also written that just to live by faith. We are not out to live by what we see. We are to live by what we hope, and what we believe, what can be. Just to live by 
like that. Remember the beginning we talked about, I talked about uh, parents teaching their children by the action. We as Christians teach people by our action. That's right. During this pandemic, people who are not church going people say, they watch us. They see how we react. They sort of see whether we were afraid of the pandemic, whether we are trusting in God. That's so right. we're teaching them. That's right. If we are afraid, we're teaching them fear. That's if right. we are, uh, have truly fear, we teach them fear. Amen. So all of us are teachers. Yes. And if we have the fear, we are teaching them. Yes. Because it comes out in our reaction, it comes out in our words. Yes. Things we say. If we have faith, we should be in line with what we speak. Amen. I shouldn't say, I trust in God to heal me and go outside of him. Oh, I ain't never going to get rid of this. Right, 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 right. You, 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 you say one thing and act it, but normally what's in our heart is what we do. Yes. Nothing, again, nothing is greater than God. We must remember the fears. We are saved by faith. The Holy Spirit keeps us. Help us to keep the faith. And all things work together for good. And all things give thanks. When we give thanks in all things, we remember it. There are many times in my life, things weren't going good and I didn't see no way out of it. And I remember I had to just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. And it happened. One day my truck was broke down on me. I had, couldn't do nothing with it. Nothing with it. No, I mean nothing. Just dead. Didn't know what to do. In the middle of nowhere, some people stopped sometimes and asked me, can I help you? I asked them, there's a phone or a mechanic nearby. No, there's no phone nearby. I said, okay, no, I'll get it. And I stand on that walk around that truck and I thank you, Lord. Pray for this world, pray for this church, for past. 
white panels here this morning. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you for waking me up this morning with a right state of mind that I can deliver the word that you have me to do and praise each and every one this morning. Lord, continue to bless those that are sick and shedding right now. Name that I cannot call to each and every one that is sick that is in the hospital at home. Continue to strengthen each and every one of them this morning. Give them the blessing that they need. Lord, continue those that are in the armed forces in the service of them that are risking our daily life for us right now. Continue to strengthen and bless them right now around the world. And we just thank you. Thank you for your son Jesus Christ. And Lord, those are there that are lost and need to be found. Continue to stretch in each and every one of them right now. Wherever they may be at. Please. Please. Continue to strengthen them that are out there that are lost. Bring them back to you. Let them, let them know that without Jesus, you are lost. Lord, we just thank you right now. Each and every day. For the blessing you pour upon us each and every day. Because without you, there's nothing we can do. So we depend on you each and every day to strengthen us more in the Lord Jesus Christ and our personal Savior. Lord, like Brother Herb said, faith is so powerful. And if we don't believe in faith, then we ain't going to believe in ourselves. Because God is there for us. All we have to do is to believe in His Son, Jesus Christ, that went to count and to die for us for our sins. And now we have a second chance to be in the kingdom with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we thank you for that. And Lord, right now, continue to bless this congregation right now. Continue to speak to them. And continue to speak to those that are up to the altar right now. We got to know what their prayer are, but whatever their prayer may be, continue to speak to each and every one of them and give them the covenant that believe in Jesus, your faith will be saved. And we thank you. We thank you. Each and every one. And Lord, right now, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for what you have done with you. But most of all, we give you all praise, the honor, and the glory that you put upon us each and every We ask in our Savior, in Jesus' name we pray.
for being in the house of the Lord. I would just like to take this opportunity to say with the church and everyone to say happy birthday to Mr. Carol, Carol Jones. When a birthday comes up, you to say happy birthday. We're not going to take that away from him. Because he will come in. He said it already. Oh, so. <laughs> happy birthday, Carol. Rest and abide with us all forevermore. That all 